Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today I'm gonna to answer a question of PhD versus masters. And this comes from Tom Lewis, who emailed me through YouTube and had this question, you know, talking about PhD versus masters. Do you need one? Do you need both? Uh, what are the career trajectories? So this actually led me to an article which I read on quantnet.com. Um, I'll put a link below to the article so you can read it. The article is by Peter Wagner and he talks about one of the most common questions he receives um, is do you need a PhD? Should I get a PhD or is a master's good enough? And in his article, he has two lists. He has one list which talks about, you know, you need to be very smart. You need to be a quantitative thinker. Uh, you need to be good at figuring out things with minimal guidance. You need to be dedicated. This list is just being a good employee. This has nothing to do um, with just being a quant. Everybody needs us to be a good employee. But then the second list he provides is education in advanced mathematics, such as stochastic calculus, statistics, probability, et cetera. Two, good software development skills. And three, good data analysis skills. And this second list is what he describes as making a quant um, hireable. And he talks about if you combine list one and list two, then you end up basically with a great quant, great employee, has the quant background, has the experience, and they can do the work. So it comes back down to the question of a PhD versus master's. And I agree with Peter in this article that a PhD is not required. It may help you get a job, but I think the people that are the best quants, it's not as easy and cut and dry as master versus PhD. I think it comes down to the person themselves. And like he points out in the article, a lot of these people that are highly quantitative, they're driven, they're motivated, they like doing research, they're self-starters, right? These are types of people that would just naturally prefer to get a PhD. Um, so now to kind of answer this in my perspective from what I've seen in the industry, I do not have a PhD. I have considered getting a PhD. The only reason I would want to get a PhD is so I could go back to academia and actually teach as a professor. That being said, I only have a master's and I feel like from looking at different friends who have different compensation structures and discussing salary behind closed doors, it really does seem that if you can get a job with a master's degree, the compensation doesn't really vary. Uh, it's basically on the position itself. So if you're good and you're a quant and you have a master's degree, you'll do a good job, you'll get paid similar amounts. Career-wise, you can have the same trajectory. Now that being said, there is a downside. If you don't have a PhD, some employers will list as a minimum requirement that you have a PhD. So really, what do I think of this? I mean, if you're gonna make a decision, it's really up to you. If you think you really want the PhD and you think you want to have something on your name, your title that basically makes it a little bit easier to get a job, then go ahead and get a PhD. Um, if you don't see the value in a PhD and you are confident that you're a great person, you're working, you're motivated, you're very quantitative, then I would suggest you just get a master's. Um, it's a very, very hard decision and the reality is it's a very personal decision. It's not something as simple as like, oh, if you have a PhD, you'll make 10 times more money. If you have a master's, you won't make any money and you'll be unsuccessful. It is by no means like that at all. Um, again, I have seen a mix. I've seen people with PhDs that are stellar, uh, top of their class, very amazing, great workers in the industry. I've seen the exact same for master's students. And then on the flip side, I've seen terrible, lazy people with both PhDs and master's degrees. So I think it really comes down to more or less what you learn from it. And if you think you want a job that requires a minimum of a PhD and you want to spend that time to go get a PhD. Anyways, this is a fairly short video, but those are kind of my thoughts on PhD versus masters. Again, just summary, I don't think it really matters compensation wise. Yes, it might prevent you from getting some jobs at some firms, but in general, you should be able to get a good quant degree, especially with like a top financial engineering masters because these degrees cover in depth more analytics, computer programming, and mathematics than any other master's degree that I have ever seen. So those are kind of my thoughts and opinions on PhD versus master's. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe below, hit the bell button for weekly updates, throw me a like if you like this video, and as always, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.